Well, we were very lucky on the grand opening of Eddie's Toy Rescue Garage because on arrival, we was able to get her started up. So what we've got here is a little video of her reversing in. So now we've got her safe and sound in the garage. I can start with her restoration. Hopefully she's going to come out that door looking absolutely great. Let's have a closer look of what we've got. Turn upside down. We've got the information. And it's the Matchbox Series King Size. And the actual model number for this is a K12A. And it's the Foden breakdown tractor made in England by Lesney. So Matchbox first released this model in 1963, which is the year I was born, up to 1969. So it's quite an old model. Um, I bought this in from a toy fair uh, for two pounds. And uh, what well, how you see it now is kind of typical of how they are these days. Um, lots of play worn damage with paint missing, and uh, and also parts missing off it as well. Like this cable should be a bit longer than that with a hook on the end. Uh, we should have a headboard across here, and the uh, transfer is quite worn. So, uh, oh, we've got a wonky, wonky tyre, which is quite typical for these type of wheels. Um, the entire, through time, um, they kind of come loose. This ain't too bad, actually. There's only that one tyre, which is quite loose, so we'll have to sort some out for that. So, I'm going to order a new cable and hook for the back, um, and also a new headboard. And the windscreen has quite cracked in the corner so I'm gonna get a new window unit for it and also a new set of new transfers um, the wheels are quite faded these should be nice bright red so we're gonna have to sort these the wheels out as well as the rest of the paintwork and yeah so it's quite quite grubby inside uh, you see that it's quite dirty so it's done quite a bit of work in the past i've got um a couple of pictures off the internet of the, the uh, kind of very similar truck how it is in real life that's that so that's it then we'll get started on a okay to start with then we're going to uh take her apart and to do that we're going to drill out the rivet at the back on the underside If that's enough to get it off. Yep. <laughs> right, after taking it apart. 
noticed uh, looks like we've got a little spider's web in the cab <laughs> so to get the jib off uh, we've got two rivets here that we're going to have to drill so we'll get on with that Let's see if that's enough. Yep, we're off. We're off. So that's them two done. And uh, we've got to get the window out. So that's uh, a little rivet down the bottom there. See if that's worked. No, not yet. Well, windows won't come out with drilling, so I'm going to try um, this tool on it just to get around the outside edges. So hopefully, then it will just fall out. God. Right, it's starting to come out yet. So, uh, use a bigger drill bit. See how we get on. That's got to have done it. It's got to have done it. Let's try poking it out. I'll stick a little drill bit in here. This one. Come on. Yay! <laughs> here we are. At last. Okay, so we've got all parts off it. Uh, this uh, body's ready for paint stripping now. So put that to one side. And as well as the jib, all we've got to do is just get this pin out and then this can go in the stripper as well. So we'll get on with doing that and for that we're going to use uh, one of these drill attachments on the Dremel just to get the uh, pin off. So we'll get that done now. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> it's out. <laughs> All right, so put that safe. That's uh, right, there we go then. So that's ready for the stripping now. So we'll go in with the body. All right, so we've got all the tyres off the wheels. They're all nicely safe. So the next stage is to get the wheels off. And um, for that, we're going to use the grinding tool on the Dremel and we're going to round off uh, the pins just here.
So doing that, that's enabled us to just slide the wheels off. Then the axles will just come out. Oh, there we go. All off then. So we've got them off. So this is ready to go in the pot with uh, the crane and the body. There, we're ready for paint stripping now. It's paint stripping time. So I've got all the parts in a loaf tin. Ready? And for the paint stripping, we're going to use boiling water and caustic soda granules. So I've got a bowl to put the loaf tin in. And we're going to do this. So here we are back in ATR HQ. We've got the paint all nicely stripped off. So the next stage is to clean all the metal work up so it's ready for priming. To do that, we're going to use a wire wheel on the Dremel and we've got some steel wool if we need it. can see the effect that's having uh, so what I'll do I'll carry on with this process and I'll show you when uh, when it's all complete there she is Sam all cleaned up looking nice and shiny so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna briefly put her together so we can just see how she's looking at the moment. There we are. Uh, looking quite splendid. Oh, nice and clean. Look at that. Lovely. So the next stage is to give it a coat of primer. I've got the aerosol grey for that and I'll see what it looks like after the primer coat 
because um, for instance there's some issues on the roof that um, I'm not sure about at the moment so once it's primed up um, it will show any imperfections what need attention before I give it its top coats so we'll leave it at that and we'll get it primed up and see what it looks like then So she's all nicely primed up now with the grey primer. Before so I fitted the new headboard so that's uh, nicely in place. So we can get on with the paint spray now. I've got the spray booth set up ready so uh, we'll get cracking on with that. is all painted up but what's left to do is the base so I'm going to get that done now for that we're going to use an aerosol can a Toyota Astra Black and I'm going to do that outside
Okay, so it's wheels, tires and axle time. So I'm going to paint the faded wheels up with uh, rainfall enamel paint and I'm using number 31 fiery red for them. The tyres I'm going to treat to my top notch Magars endurance tyre gel proper stuff and the axles are going to be uh, cleaning up with some wet and dry sandpaper to get them all cleaned up and shiny so I'm going to set to and get that sorted now. She's painted up really well. Uh, it's the first time I've ever used an uh, airbrush and uh, it's my first restoration so I'm quite chuffed how, how she's turned out. So it's time now to add some extra detail to the body and for that I'm going to be using some paints. So I've got the Revel number 66 aluminium I'm going to use on the grill. I've got the 5 red Number 31, I'm going to use black lights. I've got this humble pot of orange number 13, which I'm going to be doing the back and front indicators with. Now, I've had this humble pot um, since the 1980s. Um, I've opened it up, I've given it a good stir, and it still looks good to you, so that's, that's great. But what I've had to do, though, um, I had to... Uh, strip all the green paint off the front grill. What it was doing, it was hiding um, the detail, the fine detail of the grill, uh, which I wasn't happy about. So I decided to paint strip the front grill, clean it all up. So when I paint it, um, hopefully when I paint it with the aluminium paint, it will look better on the bare metal. So, in addition to the paint parts, I've got a, a pigment pen fine nib one. Um, so, I want to use that to highlight the, um, the front grille Foden badge in black so it stands out uh, against the aluminium silver. Also got a liquid chrome pen, which I'll be doing to highlight the the bottom end of the grill and the bumper area. And I'm also going to be doing the lights with the chrome pen as well. So I'm going to get on with doing all that now, and hopefully it will uh, look quite nice at the end. Well, I was going to start the detailing work with painting the grill aluminium. Um, but I've been looking at it and thinking it quite looks good at the moment without being painted. So I've, what I've done is I've polished it up with some metal polish and uh, I'm quite happy how it looks at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on with the rest of the detailing. And uh, if I feel that it needs painting at the end, uh, then I will do. But 
at the moment I'm quite happy with how it looks.
Well, I've finished all the extra detail that I want to put on her. So the next stage now is to put a new set of decals on, which I've got here. Uh, these are from Black Square Decals. I'm going to have to cut all these out. So I'll start that now and we can get her decaled up. Decals all cut out, so we're ready to start. We've got water, cocktail sticks, cotton buds, Vico set, kitchen towel, and tweezers.
whilst putting the decals or transfers on uh, had a bit of drama and the bottom one here uh, all went wrong so the lettering's all mixed up and missing so what I've had to do is order a new set of decals for it uh, so I'm waiting for those to turn up in the post so in the meantime I'm going to attempt to make a couple of door mirrors uh, using these closed tags so I'll have a go at that right then I had a look at quite a few pictures of 1960s Faden trucks to give me an idea of the shape and size of the mirror I needed to make. I used the electronic caliper just to make a few rough um, measurements. And so I ended up uh, using craft knife blades and sunny sticks to get the result I wanted. And I've got the first one done just here. And I think it's turned out quite good. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the next one transformed to look in the same as this one. And hopefully we can use those on the truck. Well, good news. The new decals arrived. So I've been able to replace this uh, bottom one here. What got ruined. Uh, both sides actually had to be replaced. So uh, they've gone on really well this time round, so that's good. Well, here we are then. She's all ready to be put back together. We've got the three main parts and we've got a nice new window unit to put in as well. So I'll put a new hook and cable onto the jib. And to get the wheels to stop on the chassis, I've Use the hammer to tap the end of the axles flat so that um, keeps the wheels on uh, like that. So it's done a good job of that. I'm happy. Now, when she was took apart, the three rivets uh, to drill out, but I'm going to be using these little M2 screws to put it back together. Now, to enable me to use these screws what I've had to do I've had to drill down the rivet post with a 1.6 mil drill and followed that with a M2 screw tap which put a screw thread inside the rivet post so that enables me to use these screws to put it back together so I'm going to get on with doing all that now. So she'll be coming out the garage door soon, looking all nice and shiny and new. day down here at Adi's Toy Rescue HQ. We got the Gary's door open so that only means one thing, she's ready to roll out. But we've got a good crowd here waiting in anticipation. So without further ado, let's roll her out and see how she is.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, that was a great reception, wasn't it? So here she is, uh, fresh out of the garage, fresh, fully restored, and uh, yeah, what a beauty. We'll take a closer look at her and uh, see what, uh, what we've been doing. And now I'll just have a look at her in the car park of Eddie's Toy Rescue. Going on the merry ground turn table next. Um, we've got a video first of her how she used the rope just to remind herself what to start staff with and uh, how she looks now. So here we are then, the first restoration, we'll just have a quick closer look. Um, now I chose to do this one first because it's a relatively easy one to do. It's just three parts um, plus the wheels and tyres. Um, but I've been through such a journey with this, it's been unbelievable. But hey, she's finished now and uh, I think she looks great. Now, um, I did want to add extra detail to her. Uh, the reason is um, she needs to look her best because she'll be featured in all her restorations, bringing in vehicles to the garage. So with that in mind, I've highlighted the door handles. I've done all the lights, indicators, uh, flashing beacons, backlights. I've added my number plate and I decided that I'd have a go at making uh, door mirrors and windscreen wipers which I made out of clothes tags. The windscreen wipers are made up of three parts each and uh, these are authentic uh, looking to how um, the, would be on the vehicle of this particular age. Now I didn't paint the grill that is bare metal just with some polish on and I think um, that looks quite nice and authentic so uh, that is just the bare metal. Um, the new parts I bought for her was the window unit, the hook and cable 
and the headboard and obviously the transfers decals the rest of her is totally original so she's uh, she's cleaned up really nice isn't she so that's it then that's my first restoration thank you so much for watching i'm adrian from 80s toy rescue thank you So let's have a closer look at what we've got. So on the inside, we've got the upside down. So let's have a closer look at what we've got. Turn it upside down, we've got information underneath. And it's not pretty focusing. I got this from a toy fair two pounds and the kish kish the kish nish nish <sighs> right, so I've got the tyres off the wheels so put those safe as well and what we'll do next time we'll get the wheels off the chassis and um, for that we're going to use this grinding tool to uh, what? It's paint stricken stick paint stricken it's paint stricken it's paint stricken stick I don't know. So I've got a bowl to put this in Look, I can't bloody just drop it down. Um, I'll just point some out to you. You've got the um, wrong way down. That's what you got. You know. So we're going to get that done now. Um, for that, we're going to use aerosol Toyota. Toyota. Time now to add some add. Bloody finger. So I've fitted a new hook and God. We got a good crowd here waiting in time. Oh.